what's up youtube i have another video for y'all here it's the zippo fuel canister they say this is one fill up for your zippo lighter along with that i also have some flints i bought some extra flints original zippo fluid i already had that and here's my pouch specifically made for a zippo it is a black matte matte black zippo now i have a critical upgrade for this lighter that i recommend all of y'all get it is a gasket you can buy on amazon for a four pack comes with specific felt four gaskets um basically just slide it in there you take out the old the old fl flint, flint felt excuse me you put on the new flint and then you insert the gasket and in here you just lift the fill just gets in there pretty good and that'll prevent your your fluid from evaporating quickly so in here you can put an extra flint as well in here you put it in there and that's what we're about to show you here in a bit um, let's put that to the side let's put these back recommend y'all do that because as y'all know this fuel tends to evaporate and within a week or less if you don't well you know if you don't that's just how zippo is i honestly don't have an explanation but obviously it's it evaporates but this is a easy solution and it's actually a pretty good one so let's open up um this first So here it is, pretty nice. You can put an extra flint in there and it comes with this so you can um, loosen up your, this part here. Now let's go ahead and fill this thing up. Um, comes with a cap here, air, air hole at the top, just drip, gasket in there. There it is. Gasket in there. And this is where you fill it up. That's what we're about to do. Um, these things are always kind of hard to open. Hopefully I can use this tool. Let's pry that open. Yep. So one fill up for one Zippo lighter. Let's go ahead and put it in there. Or more, maybe two fill ups. Use this thing wisely. Well, not really wisely, because if you gotta fill it up, you gotta fill it up, so. You can always just carry this big boy here. Um, but you know, this is nice too. So it's filled up all the way to the top. I'm gonna go ahead and um, close that there. Got some fluid leak um, that came out. It's all good though. There it is. It's filled up. You just put this on top. You can clip this anywhere you want. Quick and easy. And I'll demonstrate putting some in here with that new upgrade. You just put it in there. Oops, air hole at the top. Let's see.
There it goes. You just got to get it working. So that's filled up. You just kind of got to like let the air out. Kind of messy, I know. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm new to the Zippo game. When I was a kid, I made my dad buy me one. Well, he was no Zippo guy either. Um, got it to the house. Got it to spark in. Didn't want to turn on. Well, I didn't know it needed fuel. Hmm. But now I'm grown. Now I know how these things work. So they work really good. Recommend you get you a Zippo. There it goes, guys. It's on. And after that, let's go ahead and open this flint. This is straightforward. These flints last forever, in my opinion. I've seen a guy do a test. <laughs> But it's good to have some. You never know. Well, there it goes. You just twist it here, pop one in there, twist it back out, and there it goes. Now, there's a flint. What we're going to do with this one is we're going to add it to where I told you. Put it right in that little spot. And there it goes. It holds it in there. Nice Zippo lighter. With a pouch too. That was that tape that I put on there. Um, kind of felt like it was going a little up, as you can see. But you just squeeze this a little, and that should um, that should keep it from moving. Thanks for watching, guys. And it's like I said, I'm new to Zippo, but. It's like a it's like a maintenance lighter. See you in the next one.